So uh, this is Terry Slater of Bluebird Studios, and I've got Hal Williams here, and he's from Delaney, a big time in Delaney, and I'm going to ask him a question. What do you think of the Christmas lights this year in Delaney? Because this year they're as beautiful as ever they've been. That's the best year. I think so. Um, a lot of hard work goes into those lights. The uh, preparation took about three weeks this year to get all the lights up. And uh, there are about 60,000 lights up in the trees. Hal, I thought there was about one billion. <laughs> That's an optical illusion, Terry. Uh, it seems that way. Uh, there's no place prettier than Delonica when it's outlined with all the white lights and uh, all the gingerbread of all the old buildings. Oh, yeah. the Chamber of Commerce has got a lot to do with putting those lights on, those one billion lights. <laughs> Tell the world it's a billion lights so that they all gravitate to Delaney. Well, that's the prettiest setup of lights I've ever seen. Well, it certainly seems a billion lights. Yeah, this is uh, the 23rd annual Old Fashioned Christmas celebration. It goes on all during the month of December. And the uh, Chamber of Commerce and the Downtown Merchants Association are primarily responsible for putting up all of the lights and conducting all the uh, festivities. It was really the concept of a gentleman named Tom Scanlon. He owns a jewelry store here. Tom oh, is, is a, a, a child when it comes to Christmas. It's his time of the year. He loves it. He felt like we needed to do something special for Christmas, so every year we try to do just a little bit more. This year we, uh, as I mentioned, added the uh, touring trolley for Christmas on the weekends uh, to give people a, a new look at our historic history. Santa Claus is here uh, on the weekends all the way through uh, the weekend before Christmas, so come up and enjoy it. Tell me something, you look like you've done some Father Christmas work. I have. Santa Claus. I have done a little Father Christmas work. Uh, as a matter of fact, this year uh, I've been a guide on the trolley. We do a historic tour uh, of the uh, National Historic District, and uh, I had the honor of playing Santa Claus in the parade this year. For many years, Carol and I, my wife, uh, owned a Christmas shop up here in town. And one thing that I always remember, uh, I was doing some acting at that time, and a little boy came into the shop. And uh, I had the book of Rangers. And he looked at me. And that child had to come back the next day. He brought his mother back to find me. He really, really believed that I was Santa Claus. And you know, that has stuck with me. Uh, that gentle, kind approach to the children. The human touch. The human touch. That's I can tell you with Santa Claus, he carries his own chimney with him. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, Hal, um, you came to Delano in the 60s, I think. Now, what do you remember? How has it changed from there? It hasn't changed very much. Well, they've got another traffic light. Yeah, well, <laughs> when I came to Delonica, there was one traffic light. Yeah, that was it. We now have nine throughout the county. Yeah. This is this is real advancement. Um, Delonica was a sleepy little mountain town at that time. The uh, renovation of the historic district had not begun. A lot of the buildings were. Somewhat sad shape, that kind of thing. Something like Helen. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, as Helen was in the 60s, yes, absolutely. But uh, quite honestly, uh, Christmas was more of a, a family affair at home back in those days. And what we're seeing now is uh, people are trying to return to that. People coming out of Atlanta, for example, are, are so busy in that hustle and bustle that they're looking for a calmer, quieter, gentler way to have Christmas. I think we Monica do. provides it. And we entertain about a million and a half to two million visitors every year, year here. And the thing that people love is that the Monica is very, very much as it was at the turn of the 20th century. It's a sleepy little village and I've heard it described as America's hometown. There's something happening just about every night in the world.
This is Terry Stein from Blue Bird Studios. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.